Hey guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Today, you're gonna wanna hang out with us. I have something special. You can tell by the thumbnail. Oh, look at this something special. Come here, bud. This is Cove. This is my grandson. This makes the Rocky Mountain Backcountry special, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So hey, you saw by the thumbnail, we got a sweet little micro kitchen that we take ATV overlanding or UTV overlanding or off-road, off-grid, overland. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, thanks again for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Stay tuned for this. You're not going to want to miss this kitchen. I got it set up sweet and I'm super excited about it. And uh, I got my grandson with me here. And... Uh, what? Excribe. Excribe? Yeah. What's that? That means you, they're gonna excribe. Oh, subscribe. Okay, say subscribe, everybody. Subscribe, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys stick around and check this out. At the end of the video, once I'm done doing the micro kitchen, I'm gonna go for a ride. So I'm gonna put that towards the end of the video. So if you don't want to go for a ride and get the first person view of the ride, uh, you can skip after you see the micro kitchen. But anyway, it's a good ride. I had to get the chainsaw out. So you don't want to miss that either. Anyway, Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Let's go for a ride, you guys. All right, check this out, you guys. We're here at the off-grid property, right? <laughs> Only kind of faking it right now I got my camp trailer down there behind the trees so it'll be nice but anyway rode the side by side up today and uh, I'm gonna show you guys something pretty sweet right here so stick around I'm gonna set up the tripod and let you watch while I get it all set up and then I'll show you what it is You guys saw this table in one of my other videos if not I'll link it back to my uh, what was it off-grid camp out UTV overland video right up there check it out okay now for the good stuff so boom right there Micro, micro UTV overland kitchen. Check that out, you guys. Everything's in there. I'm gonna show you what I got right here. I'm super stoked about this. Micro UTV overland kitchen. Whoa, right down to the cutting board. Fits nicely in the lid. I got extra paracord there. Got a mountain house meal. So this is a little windscreen that I picked up for my little uh, gas stove. We're going to use that here in a minute because it's lunchtime. So a light. I got some dish towels going on here. Scoot that over. Got the dish towels. Of course got the heavy duty. Some of you guys know what heavy duty is. It's paper towel or heavy duty BW. Got some more cord for stringing up if I need to. Dish soap. Cooking spray. Of course, got the deep woods off there. Repel, not off. Not sponsored, obviously. We got a couple of uh, collapsible cups here never used those I don't know how good that work but I got them got some garbage bags of bandana in this little unit here I have salt and pepper I've got some fire starters if I need them I've got a little survival grenade going on in there but salt and pepper 
you got to have salt and pepper in your kitchen when you're in the woods, right? Drop a comment down below and let me know if you always pack salt and pepper with you. More specifically, salt. That's the biggest part of my diet. Check this little kit out right here. This has my frying pan, has a couple of plates to eat on. It has a handy dandy handle for my frying pan, huh? How about that? Cut. So this little unit here is a titanium fork and a spoon but it works as tongs. I've used that a bunch and I think that's one of the coolest things that uh, I've ever packed with me on my camping stuff. Of course, oh, okay, that wants to live right there. This is a, just a cheap little fork and spoon, clips together, got a knife on that end. That sits in there. How about this little foldable spatula? Stirring up some eggs or whatever. And then I always keep a lighter with me. Got to keep that lit. So that's what that's what's in there. And I showed you guys this in my last video. This little wood burning stove. This thing is slick. Folds out, boom, opens up, it's upside down, goes like that, that fits on top of there. Cook on it, it's awesome, works great. The other thing I have, so there's one source for cooking. I also have this pot and pan set. So it's got a top lid that doubles as a mug or a cup. Little handles fold out. This is a little butane propane stove. Check this out. I've used this a ton and it may have been on a video, but may not, but I'm gonna use this today. So check that out. And then I got the gas container right there inside of that. So I have two options for cooking with this little program. So I have two pretty cool options for cooking with this uh, little micro kitchen. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. I got everything I need. That's my kitchen. I carry this table on the top, and we're good to go. All right, you guys, here is the layout. I'm going to drop a link down below for uh, Amazon for most of this stuff. And if you think it'll fit in your kit and you want to do something similar, feel free. That's all right there. All the overlanders like to show you how they cook their food but I'm just gonna boil water, so whatever. If you wanna watch, great. If you don't, click the forward button. Watch a cool trail ride if you don't wanna watch me cook. The end of this video, I got a really cool trail ride, so check that out. Well, this is why we bring two sources to cook with. This little uh, butane propane mix here doesn't want to work at the altitude. I don't know. Shake it up, it works a little bit. It builds pressure up. Maybe it's an old bottle, but anyway, we got the uh, firebox wannabe set up over here. So we're going to finish warming that water with, a, with the old wannabe firebox. Check that out, load it right from the side. Grill fits right on there. Let's throw some water on there. All right, you guys, check that out. I'll tell you what that is gonna do. That's gonna make the pot black. That's all right, we'll wash her off. Whew. 
Ooh, what a beautiful day. How about this spot, all that green? Rained the last couple of days. It's been a beauty up here. So the bottom of this little unit has an ash pan on it. Slides in there. Works pretty good. But I do have it on this rock because I don't want it on the ground. It's been really freaking dry. And uh, I worry about forest fires. We already know how volatile the area is right now. Refer to my last video where I showed you guys this off-grid property. So, that dude's already boiling. That works, you guys. Wish you were here. This is Rocky Mountain backcountry.
machine, but. <laughs> you know, know I probably could have. That would have been some work. Yeah. Uh -huh.